Tetris is a game that needs no introduction. Funny blocks fall, drop them in a hole. No, not there, what are you doing? It's a simple game with a ton of different variations. Nearly every console has a handful of different Tetris games, which raises the question, which Tetris is the best? I don't know. Choosing your favorite Tetris usually boils down to which one has the prettiest background. Most of these don't do too much to really change up the game. Today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite variations of what's essentially the exact same game. Now, keep in mind, I haven't played all 5 billion or however many Tetris variants there are, so I'm sorry if I don't talk about your favorite. I probably haven't played it. Everyone has their first Tetris, and this was mine. 1999's The Next Tetris, for the original PlayStation. It was also on the Dreamcast, but I had this version. It opens up with this really epic, somewhat ominous intro cutscene. It really gets me in the mood of fit shapes together. It features regular, plain old Tetris, but it also includes The Next Tetris, which, get this, is also Tetris. This one has shapes made of different colored blocks. Same colors stick together while different colored ones will fall. It's not that different, but it's pretty neat. This has always been one of my favorites, and yes, that's entirely based on nostalgia. I love the old PS1 look, I love these stupid wobbling blocks. It doesn't do anything as far as the actual game goes, but it's awesome. Look at them wobble. You have the option to turn block wobble off, and... What kind of despicable person would do that? This is always the game I think of when I think Tetris. Oh, and the music in this game, don't even get me started. Tetris is a ton of fun, but playing this has reminded me that I have terrible anxiety and Tetris really doesn't help with that. Oops. Oh well, time to play like 10 of these games in a row. The next Tetris may have been the Tetris of my childhood, but my friend had Tetris Plus for his PlayStation. This one's really interesting. There's a story where these two explorers are looking for treasure in these temples. The levels have specific puzzles where you need to clear blocks so you can get the professor to the bottom of the screen before he gets crushed. It's a really interesting take on the game, and the voice acting is perfection. Oh. Ouch! It even lets you make your own custom puzzle levels. And then of course you have your regular Tetris modes, classic and versus. This is a great game, I'm a big fan of this one. But maybe you're looking at Tetris Plus and thinking, man, I wish this had more anime in it. Then thankfully, we have Tetris with Cardcaptor Sakura Eternal Heart. A Japanese exclusive Tetris spinoff of Cardcaptor Sakura for the PS1. I don't know Japanese, so I have no idea what's happening, but I assume I'm not winning at the moment. There's a story mode that, from what I can tell, follows the events of the series. There's a bunch of characters to unlock who all have unique special moves, I think. I think that's what's happening here. Cardcaptor Sakura also has fantastic music, and a lot of it is used in this game, which is very cool. This game is also filled with massive spoilers for the entire series, and it's absolutely incredible that you can get spoiled from a Tetris spinoff. But if you hate anime, there's a Mickey Mouse Tetris on the PS1 too. Unless you're in America for some reason, but we did get it on the Nintendo 64 over here. This is Magical Tetris Challenge. There's a story mode, and it lets you play as Goofy, so already we're off to a good start. Okay, what, what is this giant block? What am I supposed to do with this? The sprite art in this game is really nice. The whole game has a really cool style. I can really feel Goofy's distress here. The PS1 had a lot of Tetris, but let's move on to handhelds for now. Starting with the most iconic portable Tetris... Tetris. The Game Boy one. We played this on the bus in high school a lot, it was fun! There's not really much to say though, this is pretty much Tetris at its purest. Tetris Ultimate on the 3DS is probably the portable version of Tetris that I personally played the most. I had a lot of fun with this one, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. Moving on, 
All right, Tetris.com Tetris. You can just play Tetris on the official website. Wait, I'm an idiot for buying this. It's online for free. Yeah, there's no wobbling blocks here. This is very much basic Tetris. And I was gonna make some jokes about how it's just basic Tetris, but then I lost track of time and accidentally played it for an hour straight. So I feel like any criticisms are completely invalid after that. It's pretty cool you can just play Tetris online. If you value your productivity, I don't recommend it. I've been writing this script for five months, but I keep getting distracted by Tetris. Poyo Poyo Tetris is really awesome. You have the option of playing Tetris or Poyo Poyo. It's two great puzzle games in one. You can even have one person playing Tetris, playing against someone who's playing Poyo Poyo. Or you can have two people playing Poyo and ignore Tetris altogether. The best kind of Tetris game is where you have the option of just playing a different game instead. Tetris and Dr. Mario on the Super Nintendo actually did something similar, where it would swap between the two games. There's a lot of different game types, a bunch of playable characters, online multiplayer, a full story mode, there's a lot of content here. I haven't played the sequel, but Sonic the Hedgehog is in it, and that's pretty funny. Another one of my all-time favorite variations of the same game is Tetris 99. Now, Tetris Battle Royale sounds like the stupidest idea ever, but somehow this is really fun. There's 99 people playing Tetris, and the last one standing wins. You can target players to send more blocks their way, and you can have like 20 people gang up on you at once and lose immediately. It's fantastic. I can't believe they did it, but they found a way to make Tetris even worse for my anxiety. They added people trying to kill you to Tetris. And if you win a game, you unlock a private lobby where you only play against other winners. They added people trying to kill me and gatekeeping? This game has everything. It features regular Tetris too, if you'd rather play with 98 fewer players. Uh, I don't know where to put this. Um, yeah, okay, that looks good. This is free if you have a Nintendo Online membership, but I bought the physical release with all the DLC. I like having a box. I'm ashamed too. I'm sorry for enjoying Tetris. There's so many different themes based on different Nintendo games, so you have a lot of options when it comes to choosing a look and music, which is really what makes a Tetris for me. I like lots of themes. Tetris on the Game Boy doesn't have Wario in it. Speaking of which, there's a theme based on Game Boy Tetris, which is just so cool. Whether you're playing the online mode or just regular Tetris, this is a fantastic package. I was going to stop there, but I decided to try out one final game, and I'm so glad I did, because I got to experience something I never would have expected. They did the impossible. They made a Tetris game that's a relaxing experience. It speeds up, it gets harder, but I'm not really stressed playing this. Describing this game is hard. When I'm playing it, I feel so many things that I can't put into words. There's so much that I want to say, and that I stop playing to write down my thoughts, and... nothing. It's just something you have to experience for yourself. To call this just another Tetris game isn't really fair. And I am, of course, talking about the best Tetris game ever made. Tetris Splash on the 360. Oh man, this one is so good. It's regular Tetris, but in a fishbowl. No other enhancements. It does not get better than that, folks. Tetris with fish is peak gaming. This one is awesome. Purely out of nostalgia, the next Tetris on the original PlayStation is probably my favorite version of Tetris, but like I said, there's so many that I haven't played. My real favorite could still be out there somewhere. The one on the Dreamcast has a monkey in it, that's probably actually the best one. If I didn't talk about your favorite Tetris, then I probably haven't played it, so let me know your recommendations in the comments. I'm always looking for funny new Tetris variants. And there's plenty of weird, unofficial ones too. The official games only scratch the surface of weirdness. I've had to say the word Tetris a lot in this video, and it doesn't even sound like a real thing anymore, and I honestly feel sick to my stomach saying it so many times. So, no funny outro, I'm gonna go throw up. Goodbye.